Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela with you for another Thrifty Thursday. And I realize I have glare on that. Let's move that up a little bit. Uh, Thrifty Thursday is something that Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming uh, has done as an open collaboration. And uh, I will link her video below, but there's several that participate, many actually. And so if you just type in, in the search bar, hashtag, Thrifty Thursday, you will find my videos and many, many more. So if you are one that likes thrift hauls of all sorts, that would be where you would find them. Uh, so before we get started, uh, as always, if uh, you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. If you have been around for a while, I thank you for your continued support. Loving your comments. Uh, as always, I, I mentioned, if there's something, I know this is a, a thrift haul, but if there's something that you want to see for a tutorial or something that you want uh, me to work on specifically or something that you see in one of the thrift hauls that you want to get your hands on, feel free to make a comment in the comments uh, or reach out to me personally and uh, we will get you set. So you're going to be viewing this on, let's see. March 17th, I think, and I will still be on vacation. So I won't list any of what you see uh, that I show you that I am going to put in the Etsy shop until after I get back. So if you see something that you love, then by all means, you know, let me know, comment below, and um, I will set it aside and then mail it off when I get back from vacation. Or if you're... Um, yeah, because I will I will be not anywhere near all of the goodies. So let's go ahead and get started. These, not old, but uh, I think I'm going to keep this out because it's just kind of cute. I have uh, all 50 states. They're the greeting postcards. Oh, and look, they even have, I didn't see that. So we have the goldfinch. Aw. And when it was, this is like a little history lesson. Our tree is an oak tree. It's the goldfinch. This could be like quiz questions. Our capital is Des Moines and the statehood is December 28th, 1846. This is really appropriate because I am uh, taping this on a Sunday and Sunday is Dave's day to watch Aerial America. I don't know if any of you have ever seen it, but it is pretty fabulous and you learn a lot and it goes through each uh, state and if you, you know, just need something that you want to kind of snuggle in and take a nap, you can do that too, because it kind of lulls you to sleep. I was looking for Nebraska. I thought they were in order, but apparently, oh, there's Nebraska. Let's see. Let me learn something about Nebraska. Their tree is the cottonwood. Their meadow, the meadow lark is their bird. The capital obviously is Lincoln, Lincoln, and it was established in 18... 67. Wow, way after Iowa and it's a bordering state. Oh, but I know that they had some issues because I watched Aerial America. I know that they had some issues in actually becoming a statehood and I can't remember. In fact, Omaha was the capital. Learn that on that uh, channel as well. Uh, before Lincoln actually was and Lincoln was called Lancaster before becoming the capital and they changed the name to Lincoln. There you have it. A little history lesson for you all today on this wonderful uh, Thrifty Thursday. These were uh, one of my favorite uh, thrift stores is called Many Hands and they must have gotten a lot of stuff from Ben Franklin, which used to be like a five and dime type of store. And um, everything is seven, 75% off. And they had these, these are reflective these are the only numbers they had left. They had a few letters, but I was like, I just feel like I need to have these in my life. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they came home with me. Uh, and then as far as books go, I'll show you what uh, is going to go in my personal stash. This little observer of birds I liked because, let's see, when was this published? Reprinted in oh, 1976 with an addendum. But it's only from 1972. But the size of these, here's my scissors, you know, are about two inches by an inch and a half or so. But they have 
really cute images. And I thought even this whole thing, these would make great little journal cards. You could back them. So I think this might be my afternoon project today is to turn these into something super cute. And I'll show you when I'm done. This one, I don't know if I'm going to get to keep. Dave went with me on our little thrift um, haul. And you know how that goes. Like he gets, finds these books and he's like, oh, I want to read that. And I'm like, oh, I want to use it in my <laughs> journals. So he and his uh, best friend from college, uh, they uh, went, he, well, his friend lives in Minnesota and they will even like cut out crosswords because they still do them from when they were in school together. They would, and so they'll send them back and forth and complete the crossword words. And so I found this one. It's from 19, well, I don't think it was from 1935. Let's see. 1932 it was published. But this is so cool. First of all, there's only a few that are done. But look at those. And it's interesting because they have, it said in here somewhere, easy, average, difficult, and very difficult. You know, depending, for back in those days, finding the right like words for might be kind of hard for us nowadays. So I think all of them might be kind of difficult, uh, but they just have, they have cool numbers on them. I don't know. I love it. Love it. And then they had some back here for little kids, but like this one is the only one that's done, but look at those images. Super, super cute. George Washington. I'm not understanding this. It says another 15 square to win you over to the dia diagram less way. The diagram less puzzle book is awaiting for you at all bookstores. I don't know. I guess this is the diagram puzzle questions. And then I guess you make up your own like this would be one down. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask Dave. I bet he does know. But there's a lot. <laughs> Maybe they have the answers back. They, they do. Well, who knew? I'm going to have to figure this out. So that one I thought was kind of fun. Um, this one is also not terribly, terribly old. But I bought it for this specific reason for Seashore Days. Because I thought since we are, this was 1936. I guess it's older than I thought. Let me just flip back to page 170. Because we are going to the coast, to the ocean, I thought this might be fun to put in, uh, whether it be scrapbook pages or little journals um, or stick it in my travel journal. So that's why I got this. So my guess is that uh, I will use these. And there was a couple others that might have been appropriate for some things that I'm going to work on or have in the works. But otherwise, all of these pages will go after I uh, use that little section into the ephemera kits of the all the vintage ephemera. So look for that. And then I found a, a Larry Canary book and I already have this one. So this one is one that will go in uh, the Etsy shop when I get back. And it looks like it's 50. 50. Fifty-nine, maybe? I think. Uh, this one has a little bit of writing in it, but it's really super cute. And I, I love the one that I have. So that is going to go in Larry Canary. Just won a prize. First prize into the Etsy shop when I come back. I think the other one that I have has writing in it too. So super, super cute. That will be in the Etsy shop. And then I found three matching covers. Now I don't buy uh, Reader's Digest anymore unless it's something that is really, really unique in patterns. And while this is not a unique pattern, I liked the fact that they were A, bright colors, and B, they all had the same pattern. So I have not yet decided. I need to look through make sure I don't have any others that either would go with this because it could make some really cool 
display pieces in my craft room. Uh, obviously, they make cool covers, and I, I could do something, because um, I kind of like my, my things to be uh, not, I wouldn't say matchy-matchy, but I like same sizes and heights and things like that when I'm displaying, especially if it's my own personal journals, I like them to all be the same. I know it's weird, but so these, uh, you will see some, uh, Reader's Digest in, uh, the Etsy shop when I come back, uh, depending on after I look at my stash, which I don't have a huge, huge abundance of Reader's Digest, but some of these may be in there as well. And then... I got something that I absolutely did not mean, need, <laughs> but I am, you know, I've been working on my spring journal, building ephemera. So there was a bag of the pastels and this is like, I don't know. Somebody tell me because I don't crochet, knit, do any of that, but what would you... I mean, obviously people use this to crochet or do something with, right? I mean, it's not just, I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. But it's great for junk journals. So there is an abundance of this. So this along with my little bird project, I think I might put these on uh, the spools and I will put those in the Etsy shop as well. This, um, I don't know. This is kind of like eyelash trim, but not, again, if you crochet or I don't know what else you would do. Knit? I'm, I'm not positive. <laughs> um, it, but it's really, really pretty, and it will make um, pretty em embellishments. And um, So, I've got that, but I have way too much that I will not use. And then this, I thought was super cute. This there, I think I can do some things DIY for home decor. I'm working on a couple things. But it's just like little pom-poms. And again, there's lots of it. There's like a darker pink, a light pink, a yellow, a white, and then kind of a bluish greeny color. I don't know how good this, how well this shows up, but so when I found this bag, I was like, well, now I have to have it because it kind of goes along with my spring stuff and you know how you know I'm ready for that so then there was this not not really my jam I might keep a just a smidgen of it and the rest is going in I can't find the end of it but it's kind of a well, there's, a, there's an orange and then there's kind of an orangey red and then a purpley blue like maybe an indigo color so that will pretty much all go in the shop and then this I thought was really pretty. But it again, tell me what you use this for. Like, what's the real purpose? I know we use it for junk journals, but it's really got bright, vibrant colors. So I will keep a little bit of that for myself and the rest will go on the shop. And same with this. This is got the, this kind of goes with that. Maybe someone who was making something intended it to be that way. But it's got the orange, the purple, and this just has the dark pink with little hints of the light pink in there. And then the last one was just a tiny little ball of this, which I really love these colors too. So then I think, well, maybe those went together. I don't know. But anyway, you will see uh, spools of all of those in the Etsy shop. I mean, everything just takes forever. And I have, if you could see my family room down here in the kitchen, I've got all kinds of stuff that need to be packaged up and, and ready to roll. So if you see something in advance, you just tell me because you will save me a lot of time. Okay, last but not least, not one, not two, but three of the cookbooks. Now, Dave and I looked, one of them, the um, front is out of it. This is from 1976, oh, actually 79, um, but it's in great condition. So if you're looking for one of these, these cookbooks are hard to come by. 
I couldn't believe that they had three of them sitting there. Um, you know, there's some from like the 50s that, you know, and maybe a little bit earlier. This is from same one, same year. So we thought maybe they were all from the same year. This one's the one that didn't have, like it has a page miss missing, but it didn't have a, a date. So we're just going to go with probably around the same year. But I have three of these. I do not need any of them <clears throat> because I have, uh, have some already. So I will be putting those in my Etsy shop as well. And that, I think, is it for this week's haul, which, gosh, that was a really quick 15-minute video. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing well, and I hope um, I've kind of slowed down considerably on my thrifting because um, I need to get rid of some things before I, you know, I need to get rid of things before spring comes and it's estate sale and auction time. So um, whenever you see something, please let me know. But it's always fun. And I, like I said, my dream is like to be a personal shopper for someone. So for someone to reach out and say, Angela, I really need X, Y, and Z. Could you look for those for me? And here's my budget and here's how much I want to spend. I would love to do that. So um, yeah, that's kind of my goal. So in my mind, I'm doing it anyway. I'm like, I know people will want these. I'm picking them up. Uh, so let's see, do I have anything else exciting to tell? I don't think so. Let's see. Oh, tomorrow, uh, is Friday. I have a 15 minute ephemera, uh, perfect for beginners. If, uh, that is you, you'll want to tune in. And then I think, I have a special bonus video for you guys on Saturday. So look forward to that. It's a little non-junk uh, journaling related, but I think you're going to like it. So with that, I want to thank you all for sharing, if you like, or for sharing, for being here with me. If you like the video, please give it a little thumbs up. That helps a lot to um, reach others like you that enjoy watching these kind of videos. And subscribe if you haven't already. We look forward to seeing you next time. We're on to our next subscriber giveaway soon. So I'm hoping after I come back uh, from vacation, I'll be able to, to put that together. And maybe we'll, we will have met another milestone. We shall see. So until next time, remember to take time to just be. Cheers. <laughs>